Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and I wanted to do a quick video uh, today about, uh, you know, the usual, the bullshit that we have to live through because for some reason all the countries in the world have gone stark raving mad over money. Uh, I don't know how our governments could justify killing their population uh, through nuclear pollution, but that's exactly what they're doing. I just listened to Libby Halevi's interview twice with uh, Patty uh, Amino, and I was thinking, you know, our government needs its amino acids. <laughs> Patty Amino actually successfully, it took her 20 years, but she won, and the project in Pennsylvania is not quite finished. I'm hoping that I will be able to interview her on my radio show, but this message is really about how it matters that all of us get involved. Every single person that hears this video needs to actively engage their elected officials, pay attention to the NRC, put pressure on them. I'm personally going to ask Charles Bonner if we can start a class action lawsuit against the United States government or the NRC for their negligence uh, of what their duties are and the EPA because apparently the EPA and the NRC believe that their role is to protect the corporations and uh, they are mandated to protect public health. Actually, interestingly enough, the NRC is created to promote nuclear energy uh, the use of nuclear and also protect public health and as John Goffman said we can't do both at the same time because uh, and uh, nuclear is just cancer and death that's just all there is to it we already know that sorry about the moving camera my tripod is actually a tree branch but I'm out here going for a walk in the, off of the river and I wanted to do a quick video out in the environment instead of in front of my computer but um, you know Pally, Patty uh, Amino is a, a perfect example of somebody who dug in her heels and just said, no, you're not going to mess with us. Here I go again. I almost cussed. I'm not going to. Uh, the reason I'm not cussing is specific. I'm not against cussing. It doesn't offend me, but I know it offends people and it hurts their ears. And those people that it does hurt their ears, they just shut down. And there are millions of them who need to hear this message. The nuclear industry is killing us. This whole, this is one of the things that's been on my mind. This whole new virus about the babies with encephaly is off the fucking charts. It's outrageous. Encephaly is caused by nuclear pollution. Do you know where those towns were, where those babies were getting sick? They were getting sick living in a uranium mining town. And the people in Hawaii have encephaly because that lady visited the uranium mining town and she lives in Hawaii, which is not the rates of cancer are going off the charts in, in, in Hawaii. People don't want to admit it, but it is the fact. The West Coast and Hawaii are being bombarded by untold amounts of radiation and our cancer rates are skyrocketing on top of all the other autoimmune diseases that are happening. Now, in order for us to get well, we can take some action, as you heard on my radio show this morning with Dr. Bob, that there are things we can do to mitigate the harm. But you know what we really need to do is change the mentality of our elected officials. We, they need some amino acids. They need to n understand that their obligation is to protect life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I'm going to talk to Charles Bonner about starting a class action lawsuit against the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the EPA and maybe the federal government and force them to stop all things nuclear because you know what? We are being killed and they can come up with all these quirky little diseases and tell us that it's caused by everything else in the in the world, but we know that what happened after World War II is we invested, our government invested big time in nuclear uh, pollution. Essentially, it's nuclear pollution. That's what they've invested in because for every nuclear power plant that we have, and we have over 400 nuclear sites, 400, it, it's outrageous when you really dig into it, when you unpeel this onion. We have been used as lab rats and the wall of silence is catastrophic and they are killing our country. They are killing our life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And as you know, Patty uh, Amino said her brakes were cut. Uh, she was being uh, assaulted. I mean, there was things that had happened to her. The Neg Nuclear Regulatory Commission, in fact, changed their meetings. And if she had not known the law, 
then she, she, they, she would have been blindsided like the rest of us who we go to these meetings and we're like, okay, we can't speak out because we don't know the rules. Well, we don't understand it. We, you almost have to have a freaking law degree to understand how to even talk to these people, which is why I'm going to school because I plan on getting it. And I'm going to, you know, you guys probably just like me. We're too busy with our lives to actually have the time to dig in to do all. This is like a full-time job. I, if anybody out there has a million bucks or five hundred thousand dollars and you want to support me and let me quit my work I'd be glad to do it. I could get through school in half the time and we could take these people on but in the meantime I got to work and I'm gonna do the radio show and I'm gonna finish school School's gonna take me about six years probably and I know Ackerman says it's a waste of time It's not a waste of time because really honestly as I listen to uh, Patty Amino and I listen to attorneys talk, I understand that the reason that these bastards, and I, I'm, there's no other word for them, made college so expensive in this country is they want a country of uneducated people so that we can be buffooned and baffled by the words that they tell us and not understanding science. I have a bare graphic idea of science. I struggle with that whole concept. I'm not a stupid person, I, I have a high intellect, uh, but these are all things that's been intentionally done to all of us. And it is time for us to buck up, get serious, and change our own lives in every way that we can to save our planet, because we are under assault. Guys like Guy McPherson are out there telling young guys, uh, like my friend Brent Lusk, who's 20 years old, don't, don't listen to anything, don't pay attention to anything, it doesn't matter, buck up, there's not going to be any humans by 2050, just enjoy your life by now. Now, how does a young person cope with that kind of a statement? They don't. They don't cope with it. As humans, we have an obligation to try to mandate that our species continue, and we continue with peace on earth. So I'm going to end here, and I, I don't know, I hope that we can get a class action lawsuit going because I feel like it's way over long due. We have plenty of evidence that our government has been intentionally harming. Every single community in this country is being lied to. My own community here in Eugene, Oregon, there's few wrap places all around here, and I venture to say if we dug into them and looked at the uh, documents, we would find lies and cover-ups in this little town. They don't keep track of the cancer at the hospitals. They don't keep track of the cancer. They don't keep track of the levels of diabetes. And as we heard uh, Dr. Bob tell us this morning, over 96% of the kids who take AD&D medicine or ADHD medicine become drug addicts when they're adults. That's the kind of country that the, the mega pharmaceuticals and the industrial military complex and the war profiteers want. They want broken, uneducated people. And I say our only fight back is to get honest about our education, stop lying about us having an education, and really do the work and get down and get educated. And you know, there's no embarrassment in saying that you don't know something. Just learn it. We all have a capacity to learn, each of us at a different rate. So put your courage feet on, you guys. And really, honestly, I love you for listening to, what, listening to my uh, YouTube channel and my radio station because that tells me that you are true human beings and love our planet. And so uh, put your courage feet on. Bye, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.